When creating or editing an event in RPG Maker MZ, you'll use the event editor. Each event has its own unique ID per map, which starts at 1 and then increases as more events are created. You can set a name for your event which is only visible in the editor, which can make it easier to identify when working on your project. You can also set a note in the notes section. By default, this isn't visible to the player, but some plugins make use of the note box to customise events. When you first create an event, you'll be shown page 1. Events can have multiple pages that are used to change their conditions, appearance and more. You can add new pages, copy and paste them, delete them or clear a page to its default settings using the buttons at the top. The page conditions to the left are used to determine whether the events page will appear or not. You can set these conditions so that a certain switch needs to be active, a variable needs to be greater than a number, a self switch is active, the party owns an item, or whether an actor is present in the party. It's worth noting that the last event page in a list which conditions have been met will be run first. The image box allows you to select a sprite from your project's characters folder. You can also use this to choose which frame of the sprite will appear and which direction the sprite is facing. The options below this section will determine how the image will react when moving or interacted with. The autonomous movement section allows you to set the event's movements or customise its move route as well as how quickly the frames will animate and move. The event's priority is where it will appear in relation to the player's graphic. If same as characters is selected, the player will not be able to move through the event. The trigger is how the event will start running, either through the player interacting with it or automatically. You can double click into the event's contents section to select which event commands will play. Event commands run in a cascading style, which means that they will be read from top to bottom. Thanks for watching and happy game developing!